Welcome to this edition of Artist Spotlight. Today my guest is Jose Pardo. Welcome, Jose. Thank you. You have a lot of beautiful art here in the atrium of the Orange County Administration Center. It looks like it's oil, is that correct? That's correct. It is oil painting and it's usually on panel, not on canvas. Nice. And there's a lot of, there's some portraits here. Uh, I especially noticed this one small baby that's kind of getting into trouble maybe. So what is that? The one that you're referring to specifically is my granddaughter Adelaide. Well, it looks like she's in a really classical Mediterranean setting. Well, actually she's in New York City. Um, there is a place called the Cloisters and it's part of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And my wife and I, when we were courting, we would go there on dates quite often. So it was a lot of fun to take Adelaide there and have a little photo shoot so that I could kind of compose her portrait in that same location where my wife and I spent so much time. Nice. And your still lifes are very uh, detailed, but also interesting little um, tidbits of information like one of a a musician whose name is Bird, I believe, and you've got some feathers kind of stuck in that still life with his photo, and it's called Ornithology, which I guess was... The study of, of birds. Right. Yes. And did he have a piece of music called Ornithology as well? Uh, I believe he did. Um, he's one of the founding fathers of, of jazz, and um, I, that painting in particular is part of my Americana series. So jazz is the quintessential, you know, American music. So I, I wanted to do kind of an ode to him. I also see kind of a Cuban influence in some of them. In fact, doesn't one have an actual Cuban cigar in it? It does. That's a, a portrait of one of my uh, childhood friends, Raul. His father was Hemingway's butler in Cuba for over 20 years. So he worked here as a university professor and he would take tours of um, patrons of the college down to Cuba and he would, you know, give them a tour of the, of the house. I, I, I believe it was illegal to bring Cuban cigars back from Cuba. So that's how contraband? He, how he managed it, I don't really know and I never really asked, but... I'm not going to say anything. Nobody that is... Know. That is one of the actual uh, cigars that he gifted me, um, so I, I wanted to include it in his in his portrait. Do you have Cuban heritage yourself? I do. I was born in Havana, Cuba, uh, all the way back in 1964. Um, I left when I was five years old. I spent about two years in Spain, and I've lived the rest of my life here. Great. And some of the portraits have kind of a of some women have kind of the universe behind them. What's what's that about? What There's three, I think. It is a series. Uh, I'm fascinated with space. They represent the three muses of Greek uh, mythology. And, and I would say their names, but I know I'm going to butcher them, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. All right. Yes, I see there's also a picture of a man on the, a, a painting of a man on the moon uh, called The Next Giant. Leap and I see Mars. Mars in the, in the distance. There. Yes, very perceptive. Good. Um, I just wanted to do a small tribute to all of the people that make space travel possible, and 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 I'm excited about us going to that next step and going to Mars. Jose, thank you for lending us your work. Oh, thank you for the opportunity. And thank you for watching this edition of Artist Spotlight. If you'd like to know more information about Jose's work, go to pardostudio.us.